Maka Travel Rideshare Professionals. Here we are in the Magic, Magic Car Wash. This is gonna be to the point. I got new goals all this week. It's, uh, it's serious. And last night, learning, learning curve, big time, big time learning curve. What we wanna talk about tonight specifically is how not to lose that surge, how to, how to manipulate that surge, and how to keep it going on busy nights. Last night, Knoxville, no airport at all. I did have a student, grad student, going to the airport from UT. I was already connecting the dots. It rained all night last night, heavy rain. Worked from 5 to 3 a.m., milked it, milked it big time. Was a bit pissed off on a couple of situations, but it was my fault. First, let's say you manipulate the surge. You go into the surge and you drive out because you don't want to take a ride in this surge area. That's okay. You'll still get the surge on the next ride as long as you're in your vicinity. I'm not saying you have to be in that red zone, but you need to be close. Two ways to lose the surge. Number one, I lost the surge by going off the platform. I lost my surge. I regained a surge two times the original surge. Then what happened was I waited. And I waited and I waited for my next ride. I didn't care if it was a $2 ride at UT going from half barrel to Hess. I didn't care. I wanted that surge. Didn't come. Finally, I got a 23 minute distance ride. That means I had to go 23 minutes to get this ride. And it was a five minute ride. I declined it. I lost my surge. I lost the surge. So I lost two surges last night. I made it up though. Don't get me wrong, but it's still a lost surge. So I called Uber. I had one guy pinged me five times in a row. Canceled after about 30 seconds each single time. Well, the only reason I did it is so my acceptance rate didn't go down. And it didn't go down. It didn't go down at all. Why would it if you accepted? He's the one that canceled. Here we go. We're on Alcoa Highway. It's a little bit of go home traffic. Excuse me while I merge. There we go. Anyway, I don't think I'll stay up at McGee Tyson. I think I'm going to turn around up here at the airport, go back. They've got construction on here. This is a 40 mile now. Usually it's 50, 55, but uh, since uh, Monday, it's 40 miles an hour. Anyway, don't lose the surge. Manipulate that surge. I drove into that area in Northeast, didn't want to pick up a ride. Turned around, got the surge, came back, but didn't get to cash in on it. That's okay, I learned. That was a learning curve for me. Uh, it, it's okay. Also, I waited the other night at the airport 42 minutes for the guy because he was stuck on the airplane. They couldn't find a gate or something. I don't know what it was. Turned out, I got threefold on that. I got the wait time. I got the tip. Of course, I got the ride price. But I also got the excellent, courteous, above and beyond, five stars with their written compliments. That's priceless. That's completely priceless right there. So, I was pleased about that. Then last night, picked up the rider, had one stop, made the stop, made the stop, but then waited and waited and waited. When I looked at it, it didn't say anything about the first stop and getting paid for the first stop. 
He just had duration, trip, and the base. And I studied that one with the one against the one I had the night before. I couldn't find much difference. I got paid a little bit more last night on that one. It was a 66 minute ride, including the stop. Including the stop, 66 minutes. Great way to end the night, great way. Got the tip and also got the written compliment again. And I think a lot of times when you start hitting those written compliments, they just keep coming. They just keep coming. We're down here in the affluent parking lot area. I'm going to wipe off the residual water with the old guy here. He's got the uh, he's got the car going. He's the regular uh, regular 1,000 rider, right here. He's got a good looking maroon car. It's got all the stuff in the back. The armor all, the magic towel, everything. He's got it going on. It looks good. It looks good. That's what you want. Top equipment, people. Top equipment. I'm seeing too many Uber riders, and I'm not calling them out, but too many Uber riders that just don't have it going on with the equipment. Barely hanging together. Barely hanging together. I wanted to do a five-minute video. This is a six-minute and 30-second. We're going to end it at seven. Keep it in the road, people. Sorry we missed the Rideshare Professor's party. Lou and I were going to non-rev out on a Sunday morning, get out to Long Beach as quick as we could, but schedule wouldn't allow us because on the non-rev, if there's not any open seats, we don't get to fly for free on the American Airlines D3 non-rev live. There'll be another time. So for me here at Monka Rideshare Travel, professionals. We're out.